today we're gonna show you how to do this to your car. We took out all the light strips, checked all the plugs, wires, extensions, connectors, Bluetooth module, make sure everything is working correctly before we install it. The wheels all came off so that we can run the strips on the wheel wells without any obstruction. And the whole car is up on jack so we can clearly work underneath the vehicle. And also, the front header panel came off the car so that way we can start doing the light installation on the grill which I think is going to be the highlight of this whole job personally there's a header panel over there basically there's a couple screws in here which will loosen these these guys up which will allow you to access to the top area there's two 10 mils here two 10 mils here and of course all these little push clips all had to come off around here there was one, two, three push clips and one 10 millimeter with a Phillips head, which were removed. And then basically just pull this panel right off. Plus was one plug somewhere. Oh, here it is for the lights down in there. Here's the module that powers up this XK Glow kit. Basically two leads here, power and ground. So I'm gonna connect this to constant 12 volts and I'm gonna have this onto ground. Right here at the fuse box, in this vehicle this guy right here is constant and over here to the left to the left is a factory bolt there's my grounds now over here I want to do the directionals because I want to have the kit triggered by directionals so I got it on the white so that's gonna rest the ground like you saw and when I put the directional on see there's your left and right next to it is my blue and that one there is going to be my right. So you see it's resting that ground. And when I put on the right directional, there's your right trigger. This here is a fuse hole that I installed. And it's a 5 amp fuse that I put in there. Oddly enough, this kit did not come with a fuse holder, which was weird. Put it that way. So I put one in there. Soldered it here. Got this thing running over. And again, over here, I got this ring terminal, which I'm going to use this bolt over there in the corner and it's going to run to this circuit up here which is the constant so that way the kick can go on and off regardless of the key being on and off this is going to get stuck underneath the dashboard to turn it on and of course you could use the phone because that's how this thing works so that's the power wiring and then just have to run two legs out through the firewall which i'll show you next for the zone one and zone two and drop it down to underneath the car all the wiring on this is completely done now so on my controller is here here's my t-tap the yellow which is the left goes to the white in the car at the bcm the blue at the bcm goes to the black right directional i connected these with t-taps and that's that now we can run these wires through the firewall and into the light bars so now the wiring is done i have to run two of these cables which i label for left and right through this firewall so in this car the only place was right here i'll try to show you that guy right there which on the other side was impossible to see with the battery there so i removed the battery as you can see here that's gone and that exposes what i can see on, on from this angle which is makes me feel a lot better about drilling a hole so i can go right there and run my cables down through and start here at zone one and two split left and right and down to the back this carpet right there and I'm going to be drilling right next to that, the pilot hole, then I'm going to use a unit bit. First, I'm going to drill a hole right next to that grommet. I'm going to run my two wires through there, which is big enough to facilitate the two cables. And I'll pull them out from the other side. So after drilling a hole in the firewall, we got that thing loomed up and connected here under the dash. But that's what that wound up looking like right there to the right. And he's got it, some rubber butyl on there on the outside to keep a seal. 
running through on the side of the th door jam there. And I'm just gonna mount this all up with a wire tie and have this thing accessible so that way it has a clear view to the Bluetooth connection on the phone. And I can put this fuse panel back on there and we can start doing the actual wiring on the tubes. So the first two light strips, it mounted actually four. These are the two extensions for the shorter portions are behind this aluminum subframe. One for the left, one for the right. The directionals are working, so you'll see that blank yellow on that side. Same on this side. Then we got the harness running from here through this aluminum subframe down over around the battery. That's all done. So the hard part is done. From here, we run down here, here, here. And then we got the left side, and the right side there. And then just gonna run down from here through the firewall, up and over, of course, there, around to complete the circuit. So aside from the four lights up there behind the grill, I got the two on the front, behind the front header panel mounted. Also, I did the front wheel well, which is mounted up in there with basically just hot glue. And I ran the wire right through there comes out the other side and back down under to connect to the other one. And in here, I sprayed rubberized undercoating so that way when the lights are on, you won't see that white. I'll show you how it looks before and after. So here, you can imagine how hideous this will look when there's a bright light on it. So this here will fix that. This is just rubberized undercoating. Watch this. And that'll dry to a, that'll dry up to a nice dull gray, black to match the interior wheel well. So it'll all kind of match nice. The light be looking good. All right, so we're moving along here. I put the front wheel on it just to get an idea of how it came out. It's perfect actually how the light strip starts right there at that corner and goes up and around. It just stops right there perfectly. I use this flashing tape to go down underneath the side skirt of the car to go to the next tube and that undercoating sets it off perfectly so it's all black all you see is the color that's what the doctor ordered so we got down here the rear tube is installed as well up in here luckily there's like an extra flap of uh, material so i could take the extra light strip that i didn't need and put it up in there and it terminates at the same spot here as it does here as it does over there so it's all seamless then we'll take this, tuck it in, and get the two tail pieces. We'll finish up the other back tire. Here's with the left directional. Look at that. Whoa. Everybody knows you're making a left. See the right half of the car stays the way it was on the mode it was set. Pretty cool. There's the right 